हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू बडी इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस योर नेटर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गोन टॉक अबाउट मेन बियरिंग इंप्रूवमेंट बेसिकली मेन बियरिंग इंप्रूवमेंट इज बीन डन एंड मेन बियरिंग आर टू टाइप थिक सेल एंड थिन सेल इन टुडे वीडियो वील टॉक अबाउट थिक सेल मेन बियरिंग इंप्रूवमेंट इन विच वील से अबाउट फ्लेक्स एज बियरिंग एंड लेमन सेप बियरिंग दिस आर टू नेम विच इज बीन गिवेन बेस्ड ऑन देयर इंप्रूवमेंट एंड we'll see in today video that what is a flex edge design why it is called flex edge okay after that why the grooving is done in the flex edge and how it is reducing the edge loading okay and after that we'll see about the optimum lemon shape design why it is called lemon shape why it is called optimum and how it is reducing the fatigue so please remain tuned till last i guarantee that after watching the video you will have a clear idea about these two improvement flex edge design and optimum lemon sep so before starting the video i request all our viewers please do subscribe our channel who are new to this channel and those who are old please do share our content in your social media platform so that more of our friend can come to know about this channel because our channels are one of the channel which provide valuable information in very few minutes so if you think we are making some contribution to society please give us like and please do hit the subscribe button it is very important for us so please help us to grow thank you friend so let's begin the today video of the thick cell bearing improvement so one first improvement is the flex edge design in this pictures you can see this is the previous design and this is the modified design both design look like same right but if you see a side view in that case you can see that there is a grooving done in this new design but there is no grooving in the old design this grooving which is done is basically have a special purpose so as you can see there is no overall change is looked by this so therefore the flex edge design is a fully interchangeable type of design which can be installed in the previous engine and hence it can also improve the previous engine edge loading okay and the main purpose of this flex edge design is to increase margin against the fatigue damage because as you know the load in the main bearing are cyclic in nature means there is a full cycle so it is subject to fatigue so in order to reduce the fatigue damage occurring in the edge area is occurring in the edge the fatigue damage is occurring we are reducing it by allowing this bearing to take more load okay so this grooving which is done is basically is achieved by a 3 mm deep means basically the depth of this the depth of this is 3 mm on the back of the cell on the back of the cell the depth is done 3 mm and this width this width is equal to the thickness of the bearing okay so this width is equal to the thickness of the bearing and this depth of the groove is 3 mm this is the how this grooving is done so basically this is how the grooving is done now what is the advantage of this groove so as you can see this part of the bearing is a having a unsupported area now when the load is applied now this part is basically as you can see is no material is there so when the load is applied it tend to flex flex means now suppose the surface is like this so when the load is applied it will flex right it will flex like this it will flex the thing will flex when the thing will flex it will effectively increase the bearing area as the bearing area is increased because of this flex from the center line if you see from the center line is suppose this is the center line and if the overall bearing area is increased in that case what is happening it is taking increasing the ability to take the load 
as the load taking ability is improved hence the edge loading is reduced and hence the fatigue damage due to the edge loading is reduced this is how this flex design work okay so the deformation is a controlled and smooth convex shape 1020 mm largest toward the bore at the edge as you can see okay at the edge and therefore it increase the safety margin against the high edge loading okay now let's see about the optimum lemon shape so by outside if you see the whole thing look like a round but now watch carefully in the inside in the inside if you see the lower part is a round but the upper part is a oval so the inner part inner side is looking like a lemon the inner surface is looking like a lemon the lower part is round and the upper part is a oval so therefore this is called lemon shape because of this look now this design have a increased minimum oil film thickness because of the elastro hydrodynamic bearing analysis it has been seen that the minimum oil film thickness is increased by 30 to 40 percent compared to the previous standard and hence it is this design is beneficial now this design are less sensitive to the fatigue crack of the bearing metal okay so what improvement is been done so this is a side this is the side clearance this is the top clearance the side clearance as you can see this is a side clearance okay the side clearance is been reduced and the top clearance is been introduced which basically increase the oil film thickness and hence help the bearing to be less sensitive to the fatigue cracking by improving the edge loading so these are the two improvement which are done in the lemon shape design so this lemon shape help increasing the oil film thickness by 30 to 40 percent which is increasing the chances of being to take more fatigue cycle so i hope in today's video you have learned what is the optimal lemon shape design what is the flex a design how it work if you think you have gained something from this video so please hit the like button and please do subscribe thank you friend